हेलो डियर व्यूअर एंड वेलकम बैक टू अजय स्त्रोमनी गुरु योर गो टू चैनल फॉर द लेटेस्ट अपडेट्स एंड एडवांस एनालिसिस ऑन वेरियस कमोडिटीज आई एम नीना एंड टुडे वी हैव अ पैक्ड वीडियो फॉर यू फीचरिंग क्रूशियल इनसाइट्स ऑन द करंट स्टेट ऑफ द कोल मार्केट वील बी डाइविंग इन टू प्राइसेज डिमांड एंड सप्लाई एंड सम सिग्निफिकेंट न्यूज सो स्टे ट्यून फॉर द एनालिसिस टूवर्ड्स द एंड लेट स्टार्ट विद द प्राइसेज शैल वी At Navlakhi Port, the rates for different coal grades are as follows: Grade 4,800 gar is priced at 7,700 rupees per ton, and Grade 4,200 gar at 6,250 rupees per ton. But that's not all. At Gangavaram Port, Grade 3,100 gar is available for 3,900 rupees per ton, Grade 3,400 gar for 4,550 rupees per ton. and grade 4200 gar for 6450 rupees per ton meanwhile at mundra port you can find grade 5000 gar at 9000 rupees per ton grade 4200 gar at 6200 rupees per ton grade 4000 gar at 5900 rupees per ton and grade 3000 gar at 3800 rupees per ton and that's not all if you are interested in australian coal You'll find grade 4,700 gar at Krishna Patnam Port, priced at 8,425 rupees per ton, and at Gangavaram Port, grade 4,700 gar costs 8,200 rupees per ton, while grade 6,000 gar comes at 14,750 rupees per ton. Lastly, for those keeping an eye on South African coal, at Krishna Patnam Port, RSARB2 is priced at 11,775 rupees per ton. and at gangavaram port it's 11700 rupees per ton now let's dive into the demand and supply dynamics in september 2023 india's petroleum coke pet coke consumption surged by 6% year on year reaching 1.47 million tons although it decreased by 11% month on month production also dropped by 10% year on year standing at 1.1 million tons Now in the April to September 2023 period pet coke consumption reached a substantial 9.35 million tons signaling a 7% increase This growth is mainly due to expectations of higher demand fueled by infrastructure growth But that's not all India's coal production from April to October 2023 marked an impressive 12.81% year on year increase This boost can be attributed to improved production methods and efficient railway logistics. Coal India Limited and Singareni Collieries Company Limited played a significant role in this growth, resulting in a considerable coal stockpile. Reduced coal imports for blending contributed to a more stable power supply. And speaking of coal production, Glencore reported a 2.4% year-on-year increase in its coal production from January to September. reaching 83.9 million tons thermal coal production surged by 4.1% led by australian exports while metallurgical coal output decreased by 11.1% the company cited issues in south africa impacting rail shipments now let's shift our focus to some important news in the coal industry japanese firm j power is making significant moves to reduce carbon emissions They plan to permanently close one coal-fired power plant and suspend another by March 2025, aiming to cut 19% of CO2 emissions compared to 2013 levels. They also intend to lower the utilization rates of other coal plants, consider downsizing and converting to CO2-free power. A gasification facility for the number no. 2 plant in Matsushima will be built to enhance efficiency and reduce emissions, with a restart planned for 2028. Meanwhile, in China, the Yunnan province is set to boost coal production capacity by 10 million tons annually from 2023 to 2025. They're targeting 71 million tons in 2023, 80 million in 2024, and 90 million in 2025. This move is aimed at enhancing energy security, resource utilization, and promoting cleaner, more efficient coal development. And now, for the analysis According to our analysis, coal prices are expected to show some positive movement in the month of November. However, it's crucial to note that timely profit booking is also advised. For advanced analysis and in-depth insights into coal prices and trends, don't hesitate to contact us for 